Hello and welcome to my demonstration. I have my DualShock 3 here synced up to my PC. And the PC is loading Steam, big picture. Let's take a look at my library. So I have the PC games, modern PC games, and an Android game. Let's take a look at uh, Mala Multi Emulator front end. At the very top here, you'll see the systems are listed. L1, R1 switches between the systems. Um, up and down on the D-pad selects the game and start starts the game. So I just selected uh, SSX for the PlayStation 2. The nice thing about this front end is it removes the need for any keyboard and mouse and pretty much streamlines the whole emulator experience. Effectively, this allows you to access an expansive library of console games with your PC games, just needing a PC or laptop, a TV, and a controller. Here we go. <laughs> you got it. Yes, there are still loading screens. Hey, you may appreciate the improved visuals. Here we go with what you see with uh, PS2 hooked up to uh, TV. This is scalable depending on how powerful your PC is. Switch games, you just press the PlayStation button here, or the guide button on the 360 controller. Let's look at arcade games. Metal Slug's fun. It's also a Neo Geo game. So I've mapped it, so the select button puts in quarters, and the start button uh, presses the start button on their arcade cabinet. Up and down on the right analog stick jumps up and down letters on a longer list. Let's try Killer Instinct. I'll admit, I'm a little rusty. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, PlayStation Portable, and right, let's try Metal Gear. Now, not all systems will utilize all the buttons on your controller. In those instances, you can uh, map emulator functions to those extra buttons. For PlayStation Portable, the R2 is mapped to fast forward. It's handy in loading screens or unskippable cutscene scenes. If you look at that bottom emblem, loading emblem, it'll come up again. When I press down the button, you'll see it spin fast. I'm fast forwarding. Menus, menus, menus. Snake. There. There we are. Head for the FSLN boathouse. It's northwest of there. You use the radio you just picked up by pressing the start button to open the menu window. You know you can assign the radio to the select button by choosing options from the menu window. No, I have loaded pretty much uh, the setup. You'll see it in a link to it in the description you can download um, and add to your own system. 
there will be there is still some configuration, but there's a file how to located within the download. Here I'm playing some uh, Super Mario Galaxy. The IR is mapped to the right analog. GameCube games are also improved. This is also scalable depending on your PC. The shake button is mapped to the R2. How about some uh, GameCube Soul Calibur? The unique uh, roster character in this one is Link. Here we are. Versus Talon. She rides the wind. Battle one. Fight. Wind. Soda. Biff. I know I suck. Alright. So Nintendo 64. Shall we play a game? It's Mario Part 64. Now you can hook up multiple controllers, so if you want to have a gaming session with a number of your friends. Super Nintendo. So you have the systems organized by make and then chronologically by release date. Um, first home consoles, then portable consoles. Here we have Super Metroid, a classic. So once again, I have this all in the uh, the description if you want to download it. The zip file.
Actually, the zip file in the description includes everything minus the game images. Those you can find with a Google search. So here we have the portable Nintendo systems. Now we're getting into the Sega systems. Cool shoot em up. There may be a system I haven't included, and if there's an emulator for it, you can add it yourself. Or if there's a system you want to take out, you can do that as well. You may want to remove systems if you're using an older PC. <laughs> Sega Genesis slash 32X, Streets of Rage 2, I'm trying to hit a bunch of different uh, game genres in this little uh, demonstration. So here we have a beat em up. Sonic, Sonic City. Sega Master System slash Game Gear, TurboGrafx-16, Atari 7800, Atari 2600. So we're getting back to the 70s now. Ninjas. The game Gear is pretty much a portable Sega Master System. Once you're done, you can go back to the Steam by pressing the Guide PlayStation button. Maybe you want to play a modern game now. So let's try uh, Rise. So PC gaming has come quite a ways in terms of ease. It's pretty close to consoles these days. You can even buy gaming PCs designed to look like consoles so they fit in your entertainment center. Um, and you can play all the current releases and with things like Mala, you can play all your favorite old releases or all your old favorite console games. As I play Rise, there may be some button prompts for a 360 controller, but I'm using a DualShock. This is because Windows sees this controller as a 360 controller. I have a tutorial, an earlier video, that shows you how to do the same. That's it. 
Sun. Keep going. To the floor of Marius. Don't stop for anything. exit just using controller you go up to the power button and you can shut down the PC just like you would a gaming console and you boot it up and it would boot right back into this 